Hi everybody, how are you doing today? I'm down in my studio and I have my book, my Threads book. Remember I said, I told you it's one of my books that um, that I uh, read and get some, a lot of information from. And it also um, give, gives you some credible websites where you can get fabric. So um, this issue um, talks about wrap dresses, um, perfect buttonholes every time, a great new way to fit pants, and make seams, make seams a design feature. Um, I'm not going to go into everything in there, in here, but I did want to talk about a couple of articles I thought was pretty interesting. But even before that, um, I wanted to talk about, um, some of the advertising that they have in there. Remember I was telling you about that, guys? They have, like, tons of it. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to check them out myself. But I'm here on page 13. And if you wanted to know, this is um, September 2013, number 168, Threads Magazine. Um issue and their magazines are six dollars and 99 cent but if you're in Canada they are eight dollars and 99 cent and I just noticed something that they said here which is really cool and I didn't even notice just until now is that they are now available on tablets so I can look at this on my iPad which is really cool so I'm going to figure out how I can pull that up. That is so cool. I might have to get that and check it out. Um, here on page 13. Actually, this is the August-September issue. Um, it just has like a lot of places where you can order um, different fabrics. So if you're like looking for like, oh, where can I go find fabrics? Instead of just Googling it and coming up with a thousand different sites to pick from. This right here, I help narrow it down. And it has like more than one site in here. Um, House of Fabrics, um, Kaplan's Fabrics, The Fabric Place, The Common Thread, The Cloth Merchant, which I think is cool. And then um, right underneath it, it says finefabricsstores.com. FNS Fabrics, Gala Fabrics, Yellow Bird Fabrics, Sew It Up Studio and Boutique, The French Seam, Treadle Yard Goods, Nancy Sewing Basket. That's just a few that's in here. And then um, here, they have this mannequin. It's called the Fabulous Fit Dress Form Fitting System. Best suggestible dress form for personal and professional use. Duplicate your size and shape with a fitting system. Including, include it free. And it gives you two bendable arms with it. Right here. So if you want a mannequin that is like customized to your body fit, you can check them out. And that site is fabulous fit.com you know this is real valuable information I think so anyways then here I mean it's just little stuff I think it's so cool which I'm gonna have to go back and look I'm just gonna go over a few things this right here is called organize your stash with swatch buddies they call it swatch buddies I think it's so cute here it is right here. And if you look closely, it's a little tag. And right up beneath the tag is the fabric. So you can write information about it. You can actually create that yourself. You can get the pack. Um, 12 cards is $6.95. Or you can get a pack of 24 for $12.95. Or a pack of 48 for $22. Um, 95 and 
I'm going to get this because there are some fabrics that I get all the time. And um, I would suggest that you wouldn't even have to get that. And there's these little hang tags. They're beige. They're brown. And it has a little string on the end of it. And on one side, you can put the fabric. And then the other side, you can write the information about. So that you wouldn't even have to um, buy that. Unless, I mean, it's worth it. It doesn't really cost that much. It's already done for you. And, um... Tells you all the information that you need to know to fill in the blank, and it's already done. But I already have some of those little cards, and um, I'll probably, rem if I remember, show you that. I'm still going to come back to some more of this tomorrow. Did I tell you? Oh, okay, so I'm just going to tell you about a few things that I noticed in here today that I think is real cool. This is cute too. It just says I do. And it's a bobbin with in a box. I don't know what the purpose of that is for. But that's real cute. I'm gonna take the time to sit down and look at um some of um <clears throat> the fabrics that I have and kind of separate them. Now, here's another tip, which I thought was real cool. It's an easy button organizer. And the only thing that they did, you know how sometimes you go to the store, and I have happen to have this here, and you get, like, some of this plastic, but sometimes they have, like, little squares on them, big squares, small squares, and then they have the little holes you put inside your notebook. You can put your buttons in that, and you can organize them, your buttons, if you have a special button collection, and I actually do. And I will do that. Here's their, Here's a picture of how they did it. Right here. So that's just some great tips. So some things you can do. And I'm going to call this video Great Tips. I think that's real cool. <clears throat> I'm also looking at this for the first time. As I'm looking at it with you guys, so I'm sorry if I'm kind of reading. Then they go back to um, back to the threads. If you like Threads Magazine and you have an iPad or a tablet, um, you they have a little sample of it. And what it says there, print magazine, free tablet edition, subscription includes free access to enhanced tablets editions. Just $32.95 $32 a year. Um, I think I will get that, um, right now that's not in my budget to do, but I would like to have that. I really would. But, you know, I also like to have the, um, you know, hold the magazine in my hand. And I have a lot of threads, but I would also like to be able just to pull it up on my iPad anytime and look at it. <clears throat> this also talks about um, marbling with paint on fabric. Um, it's called magic, magical marbling. I'm not going to go into it, but it seems like a good issue if you're into that. It seems like they just paint it, um, some fabric there. And then, let me see. On this other page, they just page. They took it and went and scraped down it with some type of squeegee or something. And got a whole nother different look right here. Um, another thing here I wanted to talk to you about, because I'm going to go through the whole book. I won't do the whole thing today. The other thing is, um, on page 26 from this issue, um, Kenneth King, and he's also a great designer too, and he is talking about that a lot of times we take Muslim and we, um, we fit, we, I'm sorry, you know, that's what I think I'm going to do. We take Muslim and we, um, use that for our sample fabric instead of, using you know instead of going straight to the fab uh, 
straight to the fabric that we're going to use for the actual piece. And he is talking about here that that sometimes we might not want to just use muslin, but use some other type of fabric. So, um, if you want to know more about that, he has a DVD about it. Um, it's Kenneth D. King. And if you go to threadsinsider.com, you can find that video there and some other videos by him. Which I think is kind of cool. I'm going to make sure I don't run out of time on you guys. I have a great collection of books. I love my books. Um, these books here on this page I don't own. But they seem like pretty cool. Um, couturing, the party dress, um, industry insider techniques, and um, fitting the figure in some books. I don't know if anybody might be interested in any of those. But if you are, ThraceMagazines.com, which I'm going to have to check out, have those books there that you can go buy also. And they also have the DVDs. This also talks about ancient bookmaking in this Threads Magazine, which I'm so not interested in. And then it, it also, this book talks about how to create fabric feathers. And I don't know if you're in this dress here. If you look closely, it's kind of fluffy. And it's just shredded fabric. And it goes into how to create that too. So I thought it was pretty cool. I, I could see me doing that someday. I'm not going to go through the whole book with you. I was just looking, pointing out some pieces that was interesting to me that I thought was pretty cool. The wraparound dress that they have in here is not something I want to do. Oh, there's one. But this is red one is a wraparound dress. But I, I wanted something more fitted instead of flowy. And I also have the pattern for it. It seems pretty easy. And again, it talks about how to prepare a pattern and how to get your, your pants to fit um, for you and how to fit your pants and make it easier to adjust them to your body figure. So I'm going to end it there. Um, the next time we talk, um, I want to talk about the Ebony Fashion Fair that show that used to be on the road, which I think is no longer on the road anymore. But that's what we're going to talk about later. I hope you found it interesting and got some great little tips. As you can see, I have my hair in these like big braids and stuff because when I take it down, I want it to be wavy. And then I'm going to come back, guys, and talk to you about some other things I'm doing. So thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.